Here's a question. If your five-year-old's life depended on a blood transfusion, for example, and your church told you, no, you're not allowed to have a blood transfusion, what would you do? What would you do? And that is a question that certainly is being asked as you and I speak. I mean, there's there's certainly a landmark case unfolding in KZN. The MEC for Health and a concerned doctor from Addington Hospital have headed to court to save the life of a five-year-old boy suffering from sickle cell anemia. Now, his parents are Jehovah's Witnesses and are and, and basically, due to the religious convictions, do not believe in certain medical procedures like blood transfusions, which the son needs. Now, the MEC has won the first round, uh, but I'm not going to give you the whole story because then I might as well not interview the MEC. So, um, joining you this morning, you've got Dr. Sibonganseni Tlomo. Dr. Sibonganseni Tlomo is the KZN Health MEC. MEC, thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you very much, Kino, for uh, this. Uh, hello. It's good to have you on the show, MEC. So, let's just, just paint the picture for us, please. Um, you know, it's a difficult position to be in. We have a country where we've got a constitution that gives you right of religion, but at the same time, um, you've got right to life at the end of the day. Minors are, in particular, taken care of by our constitution. So, uh, it's, it's never an easy thing to deal with. So, tell us the story. <laughs> It's uh, something that is done by law, by uh, lawyers. It's never a straightforward answer. But for us <laughs> as doctors, and I want to comment the decision of Dr. Nocolo Mbadi at Addington, the pediatrician. Because um, when we take an oath, we do take an oath before God, and we say not, neither race, sex, or religion will bar me or would make me to withhold a life-saving intervention for a person let alone a minor who has not been able to make a decision, but parents are. So we actually are saying that is our view. That's the way we look at it. That is why we went to court uh, to really get that matter. And then we hear that the parents are still going to probably go to court again and argue whatever they argue. But that is our bottom line, that we take an oath when we complete our degree as doctors that I would not withhold any life-saving intervention to any human being. Doesn't matter whether what background of that person in terms of race, religion, or, or or sex. So that is our starting point, and therefore that's what we are we, we we hold on to. So this young boy, five years old, suffering from sickle cell anemia. How urgently does he need the blood transfusion? Look, having sickle cell anemia, it talks about the the. Con- the, the, the viscosity or the strength of your hemoglobin. Yes. And the hemoglobin is a very important component that goes with the blood to go to the lungs, pick up oxygen, distribute oxygen all over the body. Now, you have to have a particular amount of that hemoglobin. Uh, it is between 10 up to 15. So this child had gone up to 3. Now, it means his capacity... For the blood to go to the lungs, collect as much oxygen as possible, reduce significantly. And therefore, the child was going to go into cardiac arrest, was going to actually go and get sometimes even a stroke because there's no blood going to the brain. So, that the, the, the giving of uh, uh, the blood to that child is almost a life saving. And if the child has been diagnosed with sickle cell anemia, the child will continuously need that support now and then. It gives blood transfusion, the child gets better and the child goes back home and then stays there and it maybe it comes back again. You still have to give blood transfusion. So that is a decision that uh, an intervention by doctors will always do for a sickle cell anemia patient. And the parents are saying that they're willing to allow this child to die eventually for their religion. Yeah, I don't want to talk very bad about him. Um, uh, sure, I, I respect uh, that, but uh, I think but, um, I mean we are dealing with the facts here. <laughs> so. we, we, we probably, we, I don't know, really. I don't know. We sometimes need to really distinguish because between religion and cult. But I would not even imagine that you can make such a statement. Mm. I'd rather have you die than to be intervened because uh, mm. my belief about your life it says I should not intervene. I should not get you the treatment. Mm. I don't know. What is the foundation of that type of religion? I mean, it doesn't matter what it is. Well, people actually have been uh, uh, coerced to say, 
go and kill all your slaughter all your cows and goats and everything else, then next day you are going to be better off. That's what the religion tells me. I must tell you that message. I mean, such messages really, when you introspect them, they really, so I don't know. But without judging those stories a lot, but this one, medically, it touches us. Let us be judged by court of law, and we really hear the judge will actually say, yes, I do allow these parents to let go of their children and let the child die mm. um, because of the constitution. We would want to say we hold on to the, the constitution too, but we respect and we are guided by the Hippocratic Oath. Exactly. Otherwise, we'll stop being doctors if we actually would not wish we slander on this oath that we take before God to say we yeah. shall do the following. Yeah. Well, d- d- Dr. Tlomo, there is a case, I think it was in uh, PE, uh, the Eastern Cape High Court, where a similar case went um, to, I think, I think it was the High Court. And I think eventually the Supreme Court of Appeal ruled that the child's right to life um, is much more important than the parents wanting to stick to their religion. Um, so it would be interesting to see how this one pans out. We'll keep an eye on it. Dr. Sibongaseni Klomo, the KZN Health MEC. Maybe you've got some comments on that. Your calls are 021-446-0567. I don't care personally. I don't care what my religion is. But there's no way I'm going to allow my child to die because my religion says, oh, no, you can't. Um, you know, take part, to, there can't be an intervention that'll save that child's life. I couldn't. As a parent, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'd rather leave my religion. Your time now.